Before we kick off our panel, I did want to introduce uh, our friend Steve Levy. Steve, we've known for, for like a few years now. He is, he is a, a, a killer in this industry, and we are honored to have him here today. Uh, he's going to be giving a presentation. Uh, we just saw it. It's great. Amazing numbers. So definitely, definitely watch this. So Steve, come on up. I'm sorry. Big round of applause for Steve Levy. You know, from, from ham to cheese. So, there we go, Jamie. That's close. This is going to take a few minutes. Um, bingo. Oh, cool. Okay, since I'm not seven feet tall, I signed up for Crowded uh, last week, I think it was, Joe. And <clears throat> I didn't realize it was Joe and Howie and Mark until I got deep into it. And uh, I guess it was about a year and a half, two years ago, two years ago we talked about another venture. And, uh, and we stayed friends. We met at conferences. And one thing led to another. And so I reached out to, to, to Joe and I said, what if I talked about, if you need me to do something, I'll do it. He said, fine, let's do this one. Here, here's a little bit of my background. I'm going to talk about tech hiring trends. Jamie? Jamie? A little bit about me. I'm, I'm kind of an oddball as a recruiter, uh, aside from the fact I look like I'm standard HR. Um, you know, same, same thing here. <laughs> I was joking. This is my, I'm going to put, I'm gonna put, up, put my hat on the HR way as opposed to the, there you go. I, I, was, an, I was an engineer for 15 years uh, before I crossed over to the dark side. That would be HR and recruiting for you people. And in two years, I'll have been recruiting for 30 years. That makes me a real glutton for punishment. No, there was a carryover period. And, and there's a story behind that. How you doing? Uh, so uh, I, I guess uh, these, these slides will be made available to anyone. Um, I'm sure on the crowded site they'll be, or on the meetup site they'll be there. So I'm going to talk about trends. This is how you get hold of me. Next slide, Jamie. Uh, the thing about trends is um, never let a trend get in the way of creating a great outfit for yourself. Anyone know, uh, what, what's it, the London, the, the, the dress show? That's what, that's what this is about. What, what, regardless of what trends tell you you can and cannot do, ultimately at the end of the day, it's still up to you to make your own trend to decide what you want to do next. I like that hat, by the way. That's fly. How you doing? Uh, next. So what I did was, I, I was the, the problem with trends is if, if, if you look at 10 different trend surveys, you'll get 10 different directions on what the trend should be. So I'm going to present three of them here, and then I'll leave it up to you to make your own, make your own decision. This is from, uh, from Computer World. We're looking at the hot skills <clears throat> for the next 12 months by no, no surprise, programming, app dev. Uh, help desk is still critical because people that we support with our systems and software still have a hard time dealing with the systems and software. The third one is uh, security, compliance, governance. Keep hold of that one. We'll talk a little bit later. Number four, BI, analytics, data science, web dev, database administration. This hasn't changed in, in, in the last two or three years, with the exception of the cybersecurity stuff. We'll get to that in a second. Next slide. In terms of what's driving the hiring, uh, you know, like anything else, companies are growing. Uh, they're, you know, new, new systems, new projects. Many projects are internal. Anybody here working on internal systems for your company versus external facing stuff? I, I, I know, it's, it's, a high, it's, it's a you who are internal people. Uh, but those are, those are the systems, those, those are the infrastructure systems, and no company can exist without good infrastructure systems. I think Amazon discovered that today. <laughs> Oops. Uh, and so all these other security initiatives, again, 30%. I want to look at that, that security initiatives. How many people here <clears throat> are interested in cybersecurity or cybersecurity related stuff or hacking? That is hot. Most of my, I, I, I have a lot of friends of mine in the DC area are looking, I got to the four minutes, it'll go fast, uh, are, 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 are desperately looking for people who are, who are doing that. I'm going to a show in July uh, in Las Vegas, B-Sides. Big hacker show that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. When the lights go off, that means we're almost done, right? <laughs> Next slide. Uh, it is. I, I feel the love. What's hard, to, what, what's hard to hire? Security. 
just keep it. It's hard to hide because it's hard to uh, define what it really is to most companies. I really enjoyed the mood lighting. Next slide, Jamie. Uh, in terms of the areas, if you look here in the middle Atlantic number eight, the, uh, this is from Robert Half, another different survey. Net developer, network engineers, web dev, database developer, systems analyst. Depending on where you are in the country, those things change. That's, that's give, that, that depends on the companies that are there. Next slide. Uh, fastest growing industries here in the, in, uh, in the New York City area, fin services and healthcare, professional services. This is the mecca for all that here. It's not necessarily the mecca for, for, for pure startup and high technology, although the mayor would like it to be. Keep that in mind. Next slide. Which technology especially will see the highest salary growth? Security. That's the premium for anything cybersecurity. Still web dev, still software dev. If you're in the upper echelons, if you're more advanced, if you're particularly good at, at cloud, DevOps. Anybody here DevOps, site reliability? Write your ticket. Next. But I'm going to talk about my street trends. These are the things that I see. These are the final three sides. Uh, in the next year, we're going to see more automation and code testing. That gets the duh. Because that, you know, if, if any, how many people here do interviewing with their own company? Are part of the interview teams? It's brutal, isn't it? It takes so much of your time. Outsource it to somebody else. I agree. Uh, more third-party assessment by humans. Believe it or not, there are, there are, there are quite a few new startups that are, that, that are, that are uh, hitting, hitting the wire in which uh, well-established, well-experienced uh, developers are interviewing other developers for companies. So, you know, take the expertise and outsource it to somebody else. Uh, more show me during interviews, finally. I, I hate contrived code test. Here's a problem, F show me what you can do. Uh, more interviewing for projects and performance. The careers, you know, a career is now, in my opinion, two years in two year blocks. Uh, and, and that also jives with, pro with typical projects. So I don't know if anyone here is looking for a career. I stopped looking for a career a couple of careers ago. Uh, more movement for need once higher. How many people have ever been hired and once you get on the job, they switch you to another area? We're seeing more and more of that because of the internal movement at companies uh, of existing staff. Next slide, Jamie. Uh, more hiring managers are recruiting. You go to LinkedIn. I've never seen more hiring managers, uh, people with manager level hire, who are saying, I'm hiring in their LinkedIn profile. Managers see the need to do it directly for reasons which may have something to do with bad recruiting, which I'm not going to talk about here. Uh, greater stack agnosticism, I don't give a rat's ass what you code in as long as you code well. There's not a single developer, single technical person, if you don't know one language or library or tool, you can't learn another. And that goes for old COBOL developers as well. Uh, far more self-learning, um, I would say try a self one, learn something new every week. Plenty of opportunities online for that. Getting close to the salary bubble, we're going to see sal I, the salary increase. It's got to end somewhere because it, it is unsustainable. And this half, last time this happened was 19, it was 2000, the internet bubble. Technology opens doors to the business careers. I'm guessing about a 30 to five years from now, we'll not even be in technology or not, not, not doing uh, development or technology related stuff. You'll be on the business side, whether it's into moving to project management or, 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 or uh, systems analysts or something else, or maybe even HR or recruiting, you never know. Next, uh, these are the trends that, that really, really excite me. And these are the ones that we're gonna see a, a good deal of hiring in. AI, machine learning, duh, virtual augmented mixed reality, digital platforms and internet of things, massive hyperconnectivity that jives with massa. Look at those. Digital twins with all the processing power, you can now model cool stuff that would normally, normally you couldn't model. Writing software for that, the hardware for that is still hot. Uh, adaptive security, uh, you know, in the last election we see a lot of issues with security. Customer-centric platforms, it's all about the customer because if, if they're happy spending money, they'll spend more money. And that is why business takes place. Finally, Jamie, if you don't like where you are, move. You are not a tree. You are not wedded to the company that you're at. You are not wedded to the group that you're, that you're in. If you don't like where you are, nicely speak to your manager or HR and find another place. And above all, get to know everybody here because all, in all likelihood, your next few jobs are gonna come from people in this room. Thank you, Steve Levy, thank you very much. <laughs>